Oh, what's happening, strong fencing? Interesting little fence we got here. It's got the ivy growing on it. And uh, what we had to do was we had to tie in this tongue and groove gate into this ancient timber fence, which was a little bit of a mission to do. Uh, but what we did was we we put in these tongue and groove gates. So tongue and groove is, is solid aluminium. They're quite heavy gates. Um, this one's got a 100 by 50 frame on it, as you can see with the keypad. But it has these uh, these bearing hinges. Now, um, bearing hinges are basically what they say they are. They're a bearing. There's a bearing underneath and top, and so it really allows for really smooth movement. So we've actually gone and put some some. Uh, a lot of sun shining on this today, isn't there? There's no way to get away from it. Uh, yeah, we've had to go and put these um, bearing hinges on, but they're real super smooth. The lake is looking lovely today. This is actually a, uh, a dual set of um, tongue groove gates. Uh, this one over here, uh, each of these is on their own control unit. This one here, um, we opted for single swing because um, we really, a double swing can be problematic. Uh, they have to have a stopper in the middle and often there's timing issues. If you can go for, I'd say like a three meter or 3.5 meter opening um, and you want to do a single swing, they take up less room. As long as you've got room for them to swing back, then uh, you're, you're away. So. Can have a look from the inside. That's what it looks like when you're coming home. I'll put a little stopper down there just to catch the end of it. I won't let it hit it because it's um it's just setting the concrete setting. This is a real simple setup. Um, and this one obviously it's got a it's got a raking bottom on it. You can see how the bottoms sloped um, so these are tongue and groove um, they are the sort of high end of the gates so I mean you would probably wouldn't have much change from 20 grand for both of these uh, maybe cheaper maybe more depends on how hard it is to run the cable this one was really difficult to run so the power comes out of that box there um, so the electrician wires the plug um, back to back to a power point in the house that comes out and then there's two transformers in that box which run out to, there's a control unit there, there's another control unit down there. And, and because these are two separate um, people will be coming in, one person coming in this side, one the other side, they wanted to have their own remotes. So we actually put two control units in. But um, yeah, it looks pretty smart. I think these, these lateral motors um, that we've installed on this, you can see all the force is actually pushing directly in line. I guess it's what you call an inline motor. And uh, it is a worm drive, uh, but it looks like a hydraulic motor, but it's not. But it has a um, has this little shaft that covers over. But there is a worm drive inside of here. But what I love about this is the bracket is real easy to install um, at both ends. So it's really fast to install, and it's all about speed when you're in this game. There you can see that's the the bearings actually in, is welded inside of the top of the gate. So that's what a bearing hinge looks like. Um, and we do use these rivet nuts, so there's actually a rivet inside. Rivet nuts are brilliant. Um, it, they're great because you, you don't have to pierce the outside of the gate, so you don't have like a bolt sticking out of the post. It's really important that the front of the gate um, looks good. But um, you can see on this gate, there's a 50 mil gap, and on this side, it's about a 25, 25 mil gap. And we've gone and put a, a stopper at the bottom down here. So this stopper is um, really it's just a Bowmate bracket with some foam put on it. Uh, so the, the deal with those is that if you are bottom mounting, you want to put the stopper on the bottom. 
but if you're top mounting uh, the motors then obviously the stopper has to be at the top so you never want to put it at the opposite or else when the gate closes it will um, it will bend so you can see it's got these heavy duty um, gussets so this is a high end gate, it's a heavy duty gate there's a lot of sort of cheap gates out there you can get but um, if you're going to go 1.8 high 3 meters wide uh, you want to design the gate properly so that it's super strong and lasts the, dis lasts the distance so yeah so anyway the, the, the transformers run out of this box and they run over to the control units and then there's just one wire that comes along under the fence there underneath the concrete comes up into the motor two wires positive and negative um, so yeah it's a pretty clean and tidy setup um, again uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe I'm going to try and do some better videos I'm sorry I'm not that, that energetic today feeling a bit tired after finishing this one <laughs> to be honest plus the customers probably listening to me um, so anyway have a great day feel free to um, hit us up on Facebook as well we've got a Facebook page Strong Fencing and Gates and we'll catch up with you later